A big old gator takes over a golf course in Georgia. That is nuts. Listen to his feet on the green. A lion comes up to a hippo carcass and thinks it's just a easy meal. Unfortunately, the lion is not alone and nearly becomes a carcass right next to the hippo. Crocodiles oh, don't have ears at all. They get sound information from vibrations in their bones. But they don't have ears. Elevation, angle, collision avoidance that it's going through. Then it's got target acquisition and narrowing that target as well. And avoidance of all the other hit. That's in my arm there. <laughs> 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 I know your eyes are probably on the croc that I've highlighted, but look to the right and see the croc that very nearly takes this tour guide out. Had it got a grip on him, he would have been a goner. Talk about a close call. He's real. It looks like you're just rubbing a statue. Oh, he's loving this. If he, would, if he could purr, he'd purr. Right? See there? <laughs> right? Good boy. Yeah. I'll see you, buddy. Be good while I'm Go playing. ahead and give him a kiss. You don't need anybody. Real quick. No, 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 no. no. What do I always tell y'all? When I see a video that I've never seen anything like, I'm going to show it to you. So this is in Fort Lauderdale at Everglade Holiday Park where the gators really, really like their back scratched. Bruh, ain't enough money in the world. Hell to the gnaw. A huge croc wanted some canine meat, but changed his mind. Yes. This is about a seven or eight for alligator. I'm actually about to drift right over. This man saw a huge alligator and he doesn't sound too amused about it. Dude, I don't blame you. So I don't really know what to do. If I put the paddle in the water, I might freak him out. I didn't expect to get so close. Whoa. That's a big alligator. Whoa, I got a little scared then. Yeah, I've passed over him. Can you imagine being in your kayak and coming upon an alligator that was not expecting to see you? All I would be thinking about is uh, that there are likely more gators around that I can't even see. Guys, check out this sneak. Check them out, guys. This is why you always watch your step while you're walking into the water, guys. Check out the size of this gator. Just hanging out on this big pipe right here. Check that thing out, guys. What a beast. Oh, he's making a U-turn. She's sniffing him? Mm-hmm. Babe, come look. The gator car was sniffing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yeah, do not ever sit down with your legs like Oh that. my god. <sighs> Jessica, we both saw that at the same exact time. I'm I'm he was racing. There that whole time and we didn't. <sighs> that Look, feel my stomach. I'm like shaking.
up there. A man rides his boat in alligator infested waters. Wow, how many gators do you think this is? We get a lot of hate from this video because uh, it's a crocodile farm, but we must understand that crocodile farms are needed because one, they allow assurance colonies if something would. It's sad, but it saves our wild crocodiles. So I'll be quiet quickly and here. <laughs> So as you can hear in that little... This cat shows it is not in the least bit intimidated by a small but dangerous crocodile. <laughs> I don't know at what point that this swimmer noticed this huge crocodile following him, but uh, holy moly. Casually going for a swim in a beautiful remote part of Mexico? Well, you should probably watch out for the locals, as this man got the shock of his life when a huge crocodile chased him to shore. Amateur footage has emerged showing a swimmer frantically trying to reach the beach whilst being stalked by a massive crocodile. Panic tourists on the overhanging Boca Pila Bridge watched in terror as the man made a beeline for dry land. As the crop drew closer, luckily a quick-thinking onlooker threw a large object in the water to stop the snapper in his tracks. This is a very large hungry croc in Costa Rica. Let's be honest, crocs are always hungry, aren't they? Anyway, this is way too close for comfort for anyone with any sanity, and this one is over 80 years old. Can y'all believe that? Just amazing. Look, I think whoever filmed this video thought they had a docile gator on their hands. Saying they were wrong is an understatement. Here's an encounter between a croc and a jaguar. So the jaguar is down at the bank here lapping up some dirty H2O. And I think it would be naive for me to say that the jag didn't know a croc was in there. Like, of course it knew. I mean, the only question is, like, where is the croc in the water? A gator does his best Dion Sanders impression.
จระเข้มีวิธีทําความสะอาดฟันอย่างชาญฉลาดมันยอมให้นกคอคไดเบิร์ดเข้าไปจิกเศษอาหารตามซอกฟันโดยไม่ทําอันตราย This crocodile is absolutely enormous and luckily these tourists have nothing to worry about but just to be in the tourist boat and this close to this huge crocodile I mean it's just amazing It's heavy whatever it is Ah uh, that is not a stick oh My God, that's not a stick at all. This fisherman made the captain obvious declaration that this crocodile is not a stick. Just imagine if this fisherman had went for a swim in this lake. All one voice command. You saw that? Yeah. Are you videoing this? Yeah. I'm about to get you to give me that. Yeah. Come here, man. These gators seem to be very comfortable with people, which is a scary thought. Even scarier that this guy is this comfortable with the alligators. It seems like a disaster waiting to happen, doesn't it? We are here and found a crocodile. Right there. Check it out. Welcome to South Florida, where in these waters there are both crocs. And gators, yikes! I don't want to put my hand in the water. He's right there, guys. You see him? I hope you do. I try to get the angles up. He knows that we are looking at him. I don't want to fall. Don't come closer, baby. See you later, crocodile. Oh, he's moving. Uh oh. He's moving. You saw that? You have to be really careful. Come on, gun, gator, gator. I'll make a mad if I get behind it. This guy's on a trail and thankfully notices a pretty big gator up ahead. At one point, the gator kind of whips around, and the situation could have been very nasty had he been a little bit closer. Just gonna leave my own. I will not be filming my epitaph. Kayaking with alligators sounds fun to some people. Uh, not to me, especially gators this big. A man's preoccupied with taking a selfie and almost runs over a gator. Got about 25 miles in, and I think it's time to take a selfie. Damn it. Uh, yeah. You are just all. What are you doing out here? You scared the crap out of me. You're lucky I'm alert because I missed you. Ah. Uh. Uh. Way to bomb my photo, buddy. This alligator photo bomb. Uh, I got photo bombed by an alligator. Be able to tell my grandkids this one day. My kids. Hey, buddy. You nice looking little gator. Getting some sun, huh? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, so much for the selfies. 
A crocodile wants to know what the heck this guy is looking at and wants to give the man a kiss. I'm gonna clean the camera off. The lens. out this gigantic specimen dude hello you good dude hey where'd you come from dude hello you good dude tourists on the Adelaide River see and feed what I am sure is the largest crocodile they've ever seen <laughs> Tadi kami ke Muara ini memang menuju ke tempat Tuan Putri. Nah sekarang sudah bertemu. A man in Costa Rica feeds a large saltwater croc. Long. Remember he keep growing. Maybe in 10 years more he wanna be like this boat, no? <laughs> <laughs> Just like dinosaur, see? This is in Lake Worth, Texas, where a man walks out on his dock to find this. Remote control boat sends a crocodile into predator mode. <laughs> Good video. Yeah. Hey. But he's gonna come up. Sean were uh, cleaning up the, the lagoon between five and four and all that. So this guy's out fishing and caught a nice one. But the gator was like, uh, bruh, no, you ain't gonna take that from me. And guess what? The gator stood by that and literally came up on the land to seal the deal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These two got a bit snap happy whilst photographing crocodiles in Florida. Pete, you're too close to him. The pair were at the Everglades National Park when they decided to disturb the world's largest reptiles. Oh God. Listen to this man freak out when he saw a bunch of gators out in the Everglades in Florida. My brother, I just hope you don't accidentally fall out that boat. Oh God, Pete, your paddle's too close to that one. <laughs> Sorry. Ele ataca as senhoras, tem não? Ah, você tá caça ele, meu filho. Não, deixa ele dar Maria. E galera, vem para cá. Só passa a mão nele, assim. This is in Brazil where again people feel the need to taunt alligators. Had this woman not turned around in time, she could have very easily been a snack for the gator. People gonna learn one of these days. Se nós não vamos, vem aí. Ele vai ter que ir na cozinha. Parou! Ele vai ter na cozinha. 
Ah, é o que tava aqui, ó. Ele vai até na cozinha, né, Maria? É isso aí, galera, ó. Teve que correr. A hyena comes close to an agitated crocodile's meal and almost pays the price. A warthog was oh so close to being ground sausage. This wildebeest just narrowly escapes. Robert Irwin, of course, is the son of the late Steve Irwin, a.k.a. the Crocodile Hunter. Looks like he is fearless just like his dad. You can see he loses that speed very quickly. Hey, big boy, what do you think? You can see that big long tail, big round belly. It doesn't do him any favors on there. Give it up for Monty, though. Yeah. Know, but close to his water, look at what happens. As soon as I touch his water, instantly he knows he's got to come in here and defend his territory. Are you doing one Well, he's not following the script today. <laughs> Training the baby not to bite. Show him how you don't bite. Watch, show him. Show him how you let go. Watch, ready? Watch this. Uh, 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 uh. Stand like a fish on land. Like a fish on land. 